Hello! How's it going? Damn, this gun is OP. Yeah, so this gun actually got a nerf a while back for being so overpowered. Then it got rebuffed again. I'm not too sure why. At the time of recording this, it's still in a very powerful state as far as I'm aware. But yeah, it's probably not going to last for very long. It should get a nerf at some point. It might have done already. I don't know. I don't keep up to date with the patch notes. But even if it gets nerfed, I'm sure it's still going to be a very good weapon to use. I think infantry is probably the best division to go with. You could arguably use any of them, but I would say infantry is the most beneficial. That extra attachment, extra magazines, moving faster whilst aiming down sights, and the rifle bayonet will obviously make it easier at close ranges when you come up against submachine guns. I guess you could use a mountain if you're finding there's lots of enemy streaks in the air. Probably a decent one to go with. I think infantry is by far the best one to put on to the weapon. As far as the attachments are concerned, quick draw is always a very solid one. Any rifle is going to benefit from the likes of quick draw, just being able to aim in down sights. Getting more shots off with more accuracy as fast as you possibly can is a big benefit for putting someone down. Grip is always a solid one with rifles because they usually will find a little bit more recoil than some of the other guns at the ranges. I think that although this gun does have some low recoil, when you do put the grip attachment on it, it's almost non-existent. Um, reflex sight is a good one to go with. I just like the fact that it gives me a clean line of sight onto people. I don't think the iron sights are particularly bad, but I just prefer playing with the reflex sight. If you can play without it, well, you free yourself up an attachment slot there. High caliber is decent, but I think this gun's so strong as it is, you're not going to have too much benefits from it. Steady aim, again, I don't really see any benefit in using steady aim on a rifle. Um, if I'm going to be completely honest with you, because if you're using steady aim on a rifle, you're probably not playing with the rifle in the correct way. FMJ is a great one if you're finding you're shooting through a lot of walls, which can tend to happen on some of these maps. Four times optic, I've not really used it much myself. It doesn't seem to be too bad of an attachment, and one I probably say is quite solid on a gun like this with low recoil and high damage, so you're not going to have to worry too much about um, the recoil because you'll probably put someone down before it actually becomes a problem. Rapid fire is okay, but honestly, I don't think you necessarily need it if you're playing with this gun at the right way. And the recoil at distance, I think, might be too much to really get much benefit out of. Extended mags, obviously a solid attachment to have if you want to make sure you're putting people down, not having too much time in between reloads. Um, and advanced rifling is just great because this gun's already super strong, and if you get people at distance, you are absolutely going to melt people for days. Basic training, I think Primed is definitely the one to go with, but you could put any real one that you like on it. I think Espionage could do well. Um, you could put on Hustle if you really like to. Rifleman to give you like a submachine gun secondary, just to, if you're getting up close and personal and you're finding that the FG42 is not really doing much for you in that department. Other than that, I don't think there's really any that are going to give you massive benefits from the FG42. Like I said, they're all going to benefit but they're not going to make the gun that much better. I think Primed is definitely the one to go with. The more attachments on a deadly gun as it is, the more stronger it is going to get. And obviously with the nerf that might come in at some point, you never know how it's going to work out. So it's always good to work on a gun. And make sure it's as good as possibly can be. Anyway, good gun. Well, very good gun. One of the best guns in the game at the moment. But I'm sure even as the game gets older, it will still be a very strong gun, even if it does receive some slight nerfs to it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Do drop a like rating. If you are new around here and you like the video, subscribe. And I'll see you later. Peace out.